This is kinda shocking was okay so yesterday we got some pretty exciting Galaxy Note 20 legal got the display specs for the Note 20 and Note 20 plus as well as the rumors regarding the Galaxy for the Galaxy Fold Bright is a pretty exciting news day but today Ross Young has dropped a bomb a very important thing that was kind of missing in the previous detail is now revealed so Ross Young the CD of display supply chain says that Samsung will not going to use a 120 Hz display on the Galaxy Note 20 says nobody Plus supports 120 Hz, but Samson confirmed to us that Note 20 does not. Based on what he's saying, this is actually true. It is actually happening. It seems kind of disappointing, but wait a second. If you look at the Galaxy Note 20 display specs, is setting in less resolution than Galaxy S20, which starts at $1,000. If it's also not rocking 120 Hz, then it means that it's going to be really cheap. We're talking $800 to $850 price. It seems like Samsung might be doing what they didn't do with the Galaxy. Storyline that is making, eat affordable new flagship at least one model has to be in the affordable bracket the Geisinger 20 will offer 4000 million power batteries 6.4 inch display SPN Exynos 992 with camera setup similar to the Galaxy S20 essentially is going to be the cheapest flagship model a bit low resolution 60 Hz display drives he points to a cheaper price now nobody plus will be the absolute came Galaxy Note phone this year is probably gonna cost thousand to one thousand $1,100 starting price coming with the 120 is display with LDP or deck this is going to be the first smartphone with this deck that will allow for advanced variable refresh rate to conserve maximum power this will make the Galaxy Nobody Plus and possibly the Galaxy forward to the most power efficient 120 Hz display devices on the market something not even the iPhone bill will get better thing with this deck is that it is expensive which is why having a Galaxy Note 20 Plus without empty power deck with 120 hertz display that's just gonna take more battery it could also be one of the reasons why samsung is not using it let me know what you think is this the deal breaker for you initially samsung could use a 90 hertz display but i think they're gonna go 120 hertz or 60 there is no in between also ross young has confirmed on twitter that galaxy note 20 devices will have called them snapdragon 865 and exynos 992 chipset of course exynos 992 will be the international model and this is the chip said they will have everything fixed every issue that we have seen regarding the battery and is based on the 6 nanometers architectures so it has to be more power efficient than the Snapdragon 865 and possibly matching the performance as well also Samsung is making the only display for the Pro Pro model as per latest leak from John Prosser Samsung is once again the chosen one for supplying the best solar panel unmatched performance but it won't have LDP all that's only coming with the Galaxy Note 20 plus and possibly the Fold 2 iPhone devices won't get it Samsung definitely have big plans for the Galaxy Note lineup is to be very interesting to see how these devices will be priced especially with rumors of Galaxy Fold Lite and the Fold 2 Samsung's ultimate goal is to make the folding phones more attainable and I love that moved to the Note 20 could be more affordable at the expense of 120Hz display let me know what you think on this Samsung move on the below comment section and please use the link below description to make your purchase any of the Samsung and iPhone devices and please subscribe like the video or comment or even unlike the video thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out